I'm standing up because I'm very excited. I have been waiting for this day for months now. Months. Because no, 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 this is not an impulsive, I'm having some sort of breakdown, I need a change to make me feel better type of situation. This is something that I have thought about for months. I got an inkling to dye my hair this color, like literally three or four months ago. I didn't let myself be impulsive and do it. I was like, you're gonna think about this for months, like an adult, and it's been a few months and I still wanna do it, so I'm doing it. As most of you know, I have had quite the plethora of hair colors, and by the end of it, my hair was so fried that I just had to leave it alone and let it grow out, and then I slowly went back to like blonde. For the last two years, I've had blonde hair and I love it. I love being blonde, but as I said, I had an inkling to dye my hair a color I've never dyed it before. Any guesses? Any guesses? Today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair ginger. <gasps> I know some of you are probably freaking out and thinking like, what? Because who just up and dyes their hair ginger? I feel like not many people do this because A, it's like a hard color to maintain. It is hard to get out. And it's just like, I feel like not everyone can pull ginger hair off. Like if you're not born with it, how do you know if you're gonna pull it off? I don't know, but I have always found people with naturally red hair and even dyed red hair. Like I just have always found it so captivating. Anytime I see a girl with like this type of hair color, I'm like, I want her, I want it, I want... Anyways, <laughs> I... I'm going to be going ginger today. I'm gonna flash up some inspo pics on the screen so you guys can see like what I'm kind of going for, but I don't know the exact tone. Like I have so many pictures, so I feel like I'm just gonna let my hairstylist do her magic and see what she thinks. The one thing I miss about having really bright and fun hair is that it like kind of makes you stand out. Sometimes I like to blend in and I like to have nobody staring at me and sometimes it's the complete opposite and I'm like, everybody look at me, I'm amazing. I'm so excited. This just in my bones, this just feels like the right choice for me. I'm going to my mom's house. I'm gonna hang out with her for a few hours because she lives five minutes away from my hairdresser. I am so excited. <laughs> outside of my hair place. It's happening. Um, I just hung out with my mom and it was really nice. And now I'm gonna go get my hair dyed red. <laughs> Um, first of all, it's dark out, so you can't even really see. Obsessed does not cover it. Oh, this was the right choice, guys. This was the right choice. I feel like I could literally take over the world right now. I feel like Black Widow. I feel like Black Widow. I haven't had that feeling of like changing your hair color and like not recognizing yourself in years. Natalie, the girl who does my hair is amazing. I love her. And I didn't even have to get my hair bleached, so like, my hair looks and feels so healthy, and if I keep this color, it's gonna continue to be healthy because bleach didn't even touch it. I'm so happy! Mammy? Hi! Do you notice anything different? Do you like it? Okay, here I am in good lighting. What 
I don't know who I'm looking at. Feels like I'm wearing a wig. Like, I don't know who I am right now. I'm so used to having really light hair. I legit feel like I'm looking at a different person. And it looks so healthy. Oh my goodness. Good morning from your favorite redhead. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Yet again. Normally, I would never even consider doing two sponsorships in a row, but HelloFresh reached out again and I said yes because I've literally been buying it for myself. I have been absolutely loving it. So if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a service where they deliver you these delicious meals that you can make and cook for yourself and it makes your life so much easier. I've said it before, but I hate going to the grocery store. I hate thinking about what meals I'm gonna make. They always turn out like bland or boring. Or if I decide I wanna make like a fun one, I buy all these ingredients for it and I use like a little bit of them and then the rest of them go bad and I'm wasting all this food. I literally have not been wasting food since I've been buying HelloFresh. The recipes that they have to offer are genuinely delicious. I amaze myself when I make them because I'm like, I made this. If you're like, Oh, I don't have a lot of time to cook though. They have a whole variety of quick and easy recipes that can take just 20 minutes to make. Before I was using HelloFresh, I literally would DoorDash like two or three times a week and it, the money just racks up. And the packaging that they ship your food in is made of completely recyclable materials. Literally on the elevator, I was taking a box up a few weeks ago and this old couple was like, do you like HelloFresh? Like, how do you feel about that? And I was like, yeah, I love it. If you wanna try it, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use the code Kennedy14 get 14 free meals and free shipping. I used it and you should too. Again, that's hellofresh.com. Use code Kennedy14 and you can get 14 free meals and free shipping. Anywho, so yeah, this is a thing. Still loving it, still having lots of fun. I really love how it looks completely different in every lighting, like in my bathroom lighting, it looks more orange, but in real life, it's more of like this coppery red color. So the plan for today is obviously need to take some photos of it so I can post something on Instagram. I haven't posted anything yet and it's been really hard. I'm so excited to see people's reactions. I feel like people are gonna think it's a wig because it still feels like a wig to me, but I don't know, hopefully you guys like it. I love it. I'm gonna get ready and take you guys with me so we can really get acquainted with this new me. Let's do that. First time doing my makeup with red hair. Is this as exciting for you guys as it is for me? Because I can't tell if I'm like overreacting, but like this is a pretty big change. I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody for being so sweet on the comments of my last video. Like people were just being so kind and so supportive and I was like, sometimes the world and people can just be so negative and mean and horrible that like when i see people being genuinely kind and positive it's like oh my god there is good left in this world so seriously thank you all so much like i really really appreciate it so much oh my god i just can't believe my hair is red this is so weird i can't wait for people to tell me now that i look like new celebrities i'm kind of just trying to take everything day by day and not think too hard into the future and that's been working for me pretty well for the last few weeks i've had some rough moments this year yesterday it was a year since Salem passed away and that was really sad because it was on National Black Cat Day. And still, I still miss her so much all the time and I still like tear up thinking about her. I just struggle with big changes and I finally feel like I'm comfortable with where I'm at, like with myself. I feel very independent and very like good about myself lately. Like I just feel a lot of love towards myself. Obviously that's something I've been working on for years. I think self-love really comes with age and experience and also like low points. Like I feel like the more low points you have, if you can bring yourself out of them and just like be there for yourself. For me, that really helped me love myself because I'm like, okay, I did this. I got myself out of this really dark place and now I'm in a good place again. So it's like you kind of start trusting yourself and feeling more gratitude towards yourself. So I don't know, I'm not a therapist. And also having a really fun new hair color helps. <laughs> I just have no idea how all of you are gonna react because I feel like this is gonna be very shocking. I haven't expressed any like desire to dye my hair. And I feel like normally I kind of hint at it, at least like post a story or two about it, but nobody knows. I like can't explain it, but for some reason I feel so much like myself with this hair color. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I got an iPad and I've been drawing on that and absolutely loving it. 
I don't know what kind of makeup I want to do for this. Should I do like a fun eye that will match my hair? My hair? The one on my head? Yeah, let's do this. Busting out the old Modern Renaissance palette. Why not? I wonder if this will make my eyes pop. What the heck? This is kind of hot. I don't even want to clear my throat. <clears throat> it went away. I've kind of just come to terms with the fact that your early 20s are like a time of feeling very lost and like not knowing what you're gonna do with your life. You really just gotta live for the day, not for not for the life. <laughs> I have a way with words. Must be the season of the witch. Now I'm wondering, do I try to make my eyebrows look more red or no? That could be a mistake. I don't even really feel like that did anything. <laughs> Do they look warmer? Mascara time! Must be the season of the bitch. I really look like a grandma with this shirt. My favorite lip liner is the Kylie Cosmetics Bear. I always mix this with like four different things. That and the Glossier Lipstick in Crush. I always mix these two. They're like my favorite combination, but I'm wondering if it's gonna clash with my hair now. What do we think of that? Okay, I feel pretty. I probably am coming off as so conceited in this video, but like, go dye your hair a different color and then you see how you feel. Let alone a hair color you've literally always dreamed about having. Something I've been doing lately to mimic having like a little sunburn is putting a little blush right here, right there. And it works. People ask me if I've been out in the sun. Light pack. You never have to leave your house. Okay, now I have to coordinate an outfit. I got this dress with the intention of wearing it when I dyed my hair, but I did not think it was gonna match so perfectly. I feel like a whole nother person. I added a little gold K necklace. I'm gonna add some earrings. This dress is from Urban Outfitters, by the way. Who's that? Who's that? If you go on TikTok, you probably know what's about to happen. There's a dish that has been going viral on TikTok for the last few weeks, salmon rice dish. I'm sure everybody's tired of seeing it and hearing about it, but I made it when it first started going viral. I loved it. So I've made it quite a few times since then. Now I crave it all the time. I'm going to make it. Can you please shut the fuck up? I think that about wraps this video up. I can't believe my hair is bright red. I know I've said it like a bajillion times throughout the video, but I just can't believe I dyed my hair red. Like, who does that? Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you like the new hair. Hopefully I keep it for a while. She is the reason that I am mentally stable. She is. I will see you guys in my next video. I actually know it will be soon because I have a video planned. Until then. Bye.